thinks he did the right thing. Well, Mark Sherman showed tonight to everyone here in Mexico, Maine, he is a sure thing. Big win for Mark Sherman. WA on Fire brings to you a release of a Christmas sleigh featuring the most hellacious barbed wire match ever between Julian Starr and Brian Fiore. Other bouts include Scotty Slade versus Sebastian Cruz, Jason Dolop versus Giant Farrell, and the fatal four-way match for the NWA on Fire Tag Team Championship. Log on to www.nwaonfire.com. Once again, the only way to see this match is by buying the DVD at www.nwaonfire.com. If you've ever stripped a screw or broken off the head of a bolt, you know how frustrating that can be. Well, not anymore. Introducing the Grabit Damage Screw and Bolt Remover. With the Grabit, you can easily remove any stripped screw in 10 seconds or less. You'll never again be slowed down or frustrated by a stripped screw or broken bolt. Phillips heads, flat heads, hex heads, painted overheads. The Grabit gets them all out in 10 seconds or less. The Grabit is a must-have for do-it-yourselfers, boat owners, hobbyists, mechanics, carpenters, or anyone else. The Grabit is quick and easy to use. If you can use a drill, you can use the Grabit. You simply drill out the damaged area with a patented cutting end. Then you flip the tool around, and the extracting end pulls it right out. It's that simple, it's that easy. Notice that the cutting end makes a perfect cone into the screw. This makes an ideal surface for the extracting end to grab onto. In fact, this patented process works so well, you can even remove four inch long stubborn deck screws out of redwood. Even if you break off the entire head of a screw or bolt, you can still extract it right out, no problem. The Grabit is a must for every toolkit. No more headaches or wasted time. For a limited time, you can get the entire Grabit four piece kit for just $19.95. Call now and you'll get four different sizes of Grabit extractors for every situation. Each Grabit bit is made of professional grade hardened steel and is guaranteed to last over and over on every strip screw you'll ever have. If it ever breaks, we'll replace it free of charge. No questions asked. Call the number on your screen right now. The first 500 callers will also get a free drill and bit holder. This handy tool keeps your drill and your bits easily accessible while you work. Call right now and get your Grabit kit and your drill and bit holder for only $19. It'll be the best $20 you ever put in your toolbox. Tonight, NWA on Fire and the Hope Association bring to you a Valentine Vendetta at the Rumford Armory in Rumford, Maine. Brian Fiore will make his first defense as new NWA on Fire heavyweight champion, plus a tag team turmoil tournament between the Hoods, the Minutemen, Capital Punishment and a mystery team with the winner facing the NWA on fire tag team champions, the Shooting Stars and the main event in a battle of the Titans. WWE Hall of Famer Tony Atlas takes on seven foot plus giant Pharaoh. That's the night at 7 p.m. at the Rumford Armory in Rumford, Maine. Be there. And we're back on fire fans. AJ Savoldi here and yet another dominating performance from Mark Sherman as he handled Pat Matthews there. Certainly a superstar to pay attention to as we move forward in 2012. And fans, up a little later on, the main event, East Coast Cowboys set to take on Heart Attack Tommy Mack. Will the East Coast Cowboy put an end to the games Tommy Mack has been playing as of late? We will get to that in just a little while. But fans, we don't want you to miss out on your opportunity to see all the NWA on fire superstars in action. As we come back to the greater main area, February 11th, we come to you at the Rumford Armory in Rumford, Maine, where the tag team titles will be on the line, where there will be a clash of the titans. That's right, WWE legend Mr. USA Tony Atlas will be set to square off against the giant seven-foot pharaoh. We saw a few weeks ago as Mr. USA Tony Atlas was in the corner of Jason Doloff in that submission match against Farrow where he had the upset. What was his involvement on the conclusion of that match? One thing's for certain, the Farrow was not pleased and looking to make an example of WWE legend Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Don't miss out on your chance to see the NWA and Fire superstars in action. And fans, NWAonfire.com has a list of all of our events and a list of the NWA on Fire superstars that will be there. You voted online. You wanted a classic match. We're going to be bringing you a classic match. It's going to be up next. The Rockers, consisting of Al Perez and Jumpin' Joe Savoldi, set to take on the Sheep Herders, better known as the Bushwhackers. They have wrestled around the world, competed in Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia. 
plus throughout the entire United States, England, and Europe. Cheaper. Crashing down into the chest of the rocker. Inverted press, but the rocker was able to get that shoulder off before the count. Remember, as we said, this match is one fall, television time remaining. And there's lots of time left. Good block by the rocker as he uh, jams the sheep herder's head into that turnbuckle. And so the rockers beginning to uh, come forth, but he's in a lot of trouble here, trying to reach over and make that tag so near. And yet so far, broken up by the sheeper. Referee down, checking as he has him in a rear chin lock. And the crowd uh, becoming uh, more and more upset over the tactics of the uh, sheep herders, but now they feel that, that perhaps uh, they can uh, get the go to the sheep herders, if you'll forgive the pun. Elbow to the midsection, another elbow, and it's the uh, sheep herder ripping across the eyes of the rocker. Off the ropes, good leap frog by the rocker. Caught him with a beautiful cross body block. Sheep herder comes out of it, though. Good upper body strength as he comes out of it before the three count. Now gets the side headlock and makes the tag with his partner. Meanwhile, the rocker explodes to the right, a left, and another right, but then is caught in the midsection. All right, an overhook on both arms. The sheep herder coming off the ropes, catches him across the side of the head. Once again, double teaming outside the view of the referee. Now the sheep are claiming he has a pinfall here. And the rocker, before that count can really get underway, once again, powers himself out and saves uh, the team from a possible pinning combination. Irish whip off the ropes. And it's the rocker catching him beautifully that time, a high knee into the uh, upper chest of the sheep herder, puts him back to the canvas once again. Great action between these two tag team combinations. And a good drop kick coming off the uh, top rope once again. And again, it is the rocker now and the sheep herder ex exchanging left hands. An Irish whip sends him hurtling into the near turnbuckle. Here at ringside, I'll tell you, the sheep herder's got himself a lot of problems now as the rockers have uh, been rejuvenated. Good dropkick coming off the ropes once again. The sheep herder backing away. Holding court in that uh, far corner now. Reversal on that whip, but look at this again. Another beautiful cross-body block. These rockers use the cross-body block with such devastating effectiveness. Now we've got a four-way melee going out in the ring. All four men in there at one time. And the referee, Tommy, fighting now desperately to get these men separated. So you've got one rocker outside on the floor. And you've got the two sheep herders in the ring. And now it's a single rocker doing battle with both of the sheep herders. A two-on-one situation. The referee trying vainly to get one of these sheep herders to leave the ring area. Rocker in trouble. Double, double by the uh, sheep herders. And now the rocker catches him from behind. Good drop kick. And now has the sleeper hold. The rocker puts the sleeper hold on the sheep herder. And it could be all over as that massive forearm comes across the carotid artery. The sheep herder. And you can see those. Uh, uh, again, the sheep herders saving themselves. One man coming in from behind, and now the referee hurtled to one side as the sheep herders are letting out all stops against the fabulous rockers. But now the rockers return to action. And again, the referee having a real uh, handful of job here as he try. And now it is the uh, the rockers who uh, kick him to one side. And so you've got uh, beautiful double drop kicks by the rockers. But the referee calling for the bell. The referee calling for the bell as it appears that. Uh, both teams are disqualified for roughing the referee. WA on Fire brings to you a release of a Christmas sleigh featuring the most hellacious barbed wire match ever between Julian Starr and Brian Fiore. Other bouts include Scotty Slade versus Sebastian Cruz, Jason Dolop versus Giant Barrow, and the fatal four-way match for the NWA on Fire Tag Team Championship. Log on to www.nwaonfire.com. Once again, the only way to see this match is by buying the DVD at www.nwaonfire.com. Love your pet, but not all that hair. 
You need ShedVac, the new innovative vacuum-powered grooming tool. ShedVac's specially designed head lifts and grabs the shedding hair from the undercoat where shedding occurs. Other de-shedding devices leave hair everywhere. But ShedVac's ultra-comfort bristles massage your pet while vacuuming up shedding hair. The clear container lets you know when you're done. Then simply flip the bottom cap open and turn on to empty. ShedVac's a must for cats, too. It's even great for quick fixes along molding. Makes the perfect hair and lint remover, too. Order your ShedVac for only $19.95. But wait, call now and we'll send you a second ShedVac. Ideal for touch-ups on upholstery, indoors or out. Yours free. Just pay processing and handling. So don't delay. Order ShedVac now. To order ShedVac, call 1-800-519-8708. Call now and get two ShedVacs for only $19.95. Call 1-800-519-8708 and order today. Tonight, NWA on Fire and the Hope Association bring to you a Valentine Vendetta at the Rumford Armory in Rumford, Maine. Brian Fury will make his first defense as new NWA on Fire heavyweight champion. Plus a tag team turmoil tournament between the Hoods, the Minutemen, Capital Punishment, and a mystery team. With the winner facing the NWA on Fire tag team champions, the Shooting Stars. And the main event in a battle of the Titans, WWE Hall of Famer Tony Atlas takes on 7 foot plus Giant Pharaoh. That's tonight at 7 p.m. at the Rumford Armory in Rumford, Maine. Be there! Don't you just hate it when stray animals make a mess of your yard? You don't want to hurt them, but you still don't want them around. What you need is the Bell & Howell Solar Powered Animal Repeller. It uses a high-pitched sound that's unpleasant to animals to rid your yard of pests, like rabbits, mice, deer, raccoons, skunks, even stray cats and dogs. Humans can't hear it, but the sound drives pests away and keeps them away for good. The built-in infrared motion detector activates it, both in daylight and even at night. It easily mounts to any surface, and it also comes with its own mounting stake, so you can place it anywhere. It works from up to 30 feet away. It's weatherproof, and since it's solar-powered, it never needs batteries. Bell & Howell Solar Powered Animal Repeller is yours for just $29.95, so order yours now. To order your animal repeller, call 1-800-936-5300 or send $29.95 plus shipping and handling to Animal Repeller, P.O. Box 3700, Palm Desert, California. But for quicker service, call 1-800-936-5300. Tonight, NWA on Fire and the Hope Association bring to you a Valentine Vendetta at the Rumford Armory in Rumford, Maine. Brian Fury will make his first defense as new NWA on Fire heavyweight champion, plus a tag team turmoil tournament between the Hoods, the Minutemen, Capital Punishment, and a mystery team, with the winner facing the NWA on Fire tag team champions, the Shooting Stars. And the main event in a battle of the titans, WWE Hall of Famer Tony Atlas takes on 7 foot plus Giant Pharaoh. That's tonight at 7 p.m. at the Rumford Armory in Rumford, Maine. Be there! And we're back on Fire Fans, and what a classic match we saw there from the Sheep Herders, better known as the Bushwhackers, taking on the Rockers. Always a treat to see my very own Uncle Jumpin' Joseph Aldi in action. Speaking of in action, fans, don't miss out on your chance to see all the NWA on Fire Superstars in action as we come back to you. February 11th, the Rumford Armory, Rumford, Maine, tag team titles on the line, and the Clash of the Titans. Mr. USA Tony Atlas set to take on the Giant Pharaoh. It is going to be a match of epic proportions. I urge you fans, you got to come out, you got to see this event. It is going to be insane. Once again, NWA on Fire Superstars in action. Don't miss out on your chance. Log on to NWAonfire.com. Check out a list of our events. Get your tickets early. But fans, up next, our main event, the East Coast Cowboy, Heart Attack Tommy Mack. We're going to take you now ringside to Tom Savoldi and John Harder with all the action. And here we go with the main event of the evening. And I tell you what, it's going to be a bomb, barn burner. I tell you, Tommy Mack 